Hey, what's up guys? This is Cole with CJC Off-Road and we're super excited to share with you one of our latest shop builds. Uh, this one kind of, uh, I'd say, fell in our lap. came across this third gen deal we couldn't refuse. We were always fans of these trucks. Uh, early on, early CJC days, these are kind of the trucks that got us into this whole hobby, into higher end suspension, introduced introduce us to the Carly suspension products. So, uh, you know, all this time we kind of, you know, every time we see a nice third gen come through the shop, we're like, man, we'd love to, uh, you know, get our hands on another one. So as luck would have it, uh, back in May, this truck fell in our laps. 42,000 original miles, total grandpa truck. Uh, as you can see, it has the brush guard on it. It has the big old fender flares, uh, big old chrome steps. Um, super nice truck, interior is mint, uh, really cool color, the Inferno Red. Uh, we were super stoked to find this thing. And so uh, what we wanted to do with this is kind of show you guys uh, some of the cooler options that are available for the third gens. Uh, so to start, uh, what we're doing is we, obviously we, we ripped all the, all the grandpa stuff off this truck, uh, took it to our friend Tony over at Audubon Collision Center, he went through the truck, cleaned it up, removed, you know, debadged it, uh, color matched it. We went ahead and went with the sport bumper. And uh, basically what we, we want to do is de-grandpa this truck, but still uh, kind of keep uh, what makes a third gen look cool. So we're not changing, you know, to aftermarket bumpers, things like that. We're trying to do more of a uh, stock mod build, try to build it the way we build these newer 14 plus trucks. One of our favorite modifications we added body-wise to this truck was these retro shop headlights. Uh, so what we wanted to do is do something uh, that looked relatively OEM on the truck, but also uh, blended with the color match look. So uh, Jeremy over at Retro Shop is awesome to work with. He set us up with these headlights. So I actually started as OEM uh, 07 plus style lights. Uh, he went ahead and blacked them out, uh, added upgraded projectors. They work significantly better than stock, but they still look like an OEM headlight on the truck. So we really like that. Thought that was a nice touch. As you guys know, though, uh, we have much bigger plans for this truck than just cosmetics. What we specialize here is in suspension wheels and tires, and that is what we're really excited to show you today. Uh, so with these third gen trucks and with a lot of the older Rams, we have a lot of guys asking us, how do I fit 37s? How do I fit a nice wheel and tire combination? under this truck without you know necessarily breaking the bank. One thing we forgot about these third gen trucks after not having driven them for a while is just how poorly they ride and how poorly they steer in stock form. This truck was only had 42,000 miles on it. The thing's all over the road, it's bounced all over the place, you know. Yeah, everything's relatively tight for what it is, but it's like, wow, you know, how how does such a mint cherry, you know, un, you know, non-abused truck drive so badly? Uh, fortunately, there are a lot of solutions for this. Um, being that these trucks have been out for a long time, Carly's had a lot of time to kind of perfect their product lines for these trucks. Uh, so what we want to show you guys here is the Carly starter system. Uh, believe it or not, at the time of this filming, it runs under $1,000 for the base kit. Uh, base kit includes two front coils, Carly's custom multi-rate coil springs on the third gens or linear rate springs on the fourth gens, uh, and their signature series shocks. Uh, you've probably seen in our other videos where we talk about these signature series shocks, but they really are one of our favorite products that Carly has to offer these days. They are they have stainless steel bodies, they have a lifetime warranty, something not commonly seen in off-road shocks. They are the least expensive custom tuned shocks on the market. And uh, you know, on all the customer trucks we've installed these on, we've been extremely impressed with just how well they ride for how reasonably priced they are. So we have that Carly starter base kit. So again, co two coils, four shocks. The options we added to that kit are what allow us to run 37s. So we had the Carly adjustable track bar and we added the Carly high clearance control arms. Just those ingredients. So the Carly starter, the Carly track bar, the Carly high clearance arms, those will allow us to run 37s on these trucks with very, very minimal trimming as long as you run the proper offset, which we'll get to shortly. We also went ahead and opted for the Carly progressive out packs in the rear. Uh, really helps with uh, with uh, going over speed bumps and a lot of the California roads here uh, to kind of tame the harshness in the back of the truck. 
that whole package is you know a lot less than what most people would expect a carly suspension system to cost and it is the entry level way to uh, basically achieve running 37s under one of these trucks all these components so the high clearance arms coils track bar those are the exact same components that you'll see featured in the carly short arm dominator system so regardless you know pin top back country commuter whatever carly system you're looking at the hard parts are actually the same uh, so say later on you want to put king shocks under the truck it's literally a shock swap away and you have a pin top kit right so you're not spending much money twice going this way it's a really uh really nice option to basically allow you to grow you know with your system long term Uh, wheel and tire wise, that's also a very important element of this build. Uh, we're running our Method 315s in black. Uh, they feature the plus 25 offset. These are the CJC Method 315s. Uh, this is really what uh, makes the 37s work. Uh, it's really important if you're building a similar set, you run plus 18 to plus 25 offset on an eight and a half or nine inch wide wheel. Uh, we ran 37 by 12 and a half Toyo RTs on this truck. A really simple uh, wheel and tire combination, fits right up. Again, very minimal plastic trimming. We had to trim no metal. Uh, you know, this truck is clean as it was. We didn't want to hack it up. And so we are uh, fortunate to have options like this that allow us to bolt 37 sleeves trucks without hacking them up like this. So I think it's about time we show you guys the finished product. As you can see, this truck has dramatically changed. I'd say this no longer looks like the grandpa truck we started with. Uh, super clean build, uh, works really well on road. In fact, I can't emphasize this enough in this video. This truck is night and day different from how this thing drove stock. We've not regeared it. We've not added any kind of tuning, nothing like that. Uh, and we're actually extremely surprised with just adding the 37s, the Carly starter kit with a you know, few options we added, just how significantly different this truck drives from how it did before. It's, you know, freeways, the uh, expansion joint sections are, are significantly uh, reduced. So you don't get that crazy hop that you got in a lot of the Southern California freeways. Going over a dip, you're not coming out of the seat. And again, this is with a shock package on this truck that runs, you know, at the time of this filming, less than $400. So, uh, you know, extremely impressive how this thing works. Um, we couldn't be happier that Carly actually has this option now because back in the day to get uh, ride quality and performance of this sort, you'd be spending several thousand dollars, right? And piecing together parts from different companies. Uh, Carly's put a, uh, basically an all-in-one solution together for this to allow you to easily fit 37s, improve how your third gen drives. Um, you know, ride quality is starting to rival more of how these newer trucks ride with this kit, which is extremely impressive for how little we actually change on this truck. So if you guys have any questions regarding these systems, obviously feel free to reach out to us. Uh, we've installed quite a few of them here at the shop, so we're more than happy to make any rec recommendations to tailor the build specifically for your needs. Uh, we appreciate you guys watching the video. Uh, this is again, phase one of this build. So we have a lot of changes coming up to show you guys a lot of the different products available for these third gen trucks. And we can't wait for you guys to follow along. So if you want to see more, uh, feel free to subscribe and thanks for watching.